Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Pioneer RL250. It's a nice rear living couples coach. Let's start off right here in the back. This uh, unit does have two entrances and exits. The main one will be right back here. There is a secondary one up in the bedroom. You'll see along the back wall, you have two extremely comfortable recliners. You'll see you just sink right down in these. This is a great place to really relax, you know, again, be able to put your feet up. They do recline and you have a straight shot to the TV. Granted, it is a little ways up the coach, but that's generally how it is in this style of floor plan. It's a more built for entertainment because you have the uh, two chairs right here and then the couch right over in the super slide. That way, if you do have guests, everyone can sit around and have conversation. You'll also notice you have your little end table right here. So if you do have like a laptop or tablet you wanna set there or maybe a beverage, you can set that there as well. And then if you do have those electronics, there is a uh, plug-in right back here, so that way you can go ahead and plug those in. Beautiful rear picture window right behind me. If you're able to you know, be one of the lucky ones that have that oceanfront or lakeside view, you're able to look out this big, beautiful window and be able to enjoy that. You also have windows on the sides here, so it lets a lot of natural light into this RV. All the way across the top, you see you have additional storage up there. So nice little extra storage area. And then as we take a look over here, this is the super slide. So as I had mentioned, right here is your sofa. That way you can have that conversation. It's a jackknife style sofa. So it does drop down into a smaller bed, but the big advantage of a jackknife is the storage you get underneath. Take a look at that. You want a place to store all your bedding, you know, some of your bigger, bulkier items. That is an excellent spot to be able to put it. You'll see you have a bunch of windows in this slide here as well, again, helping bring in that natural light. And then right here, again, additional storage up top. You'll also see you have LED lights here. You have LED lights throughout the entire RV, which is great if you're going somewhere where you don't have shore power, because not only they put out uh, much less heat, but they also use a fraction of the power. Moving up, you have the large U-Dinette. U-Dinettes are great for a couple different reasons. One, if you do have, again, friends and family that want to come visit, you can sit around the table here, you can have a meal together, you can play a game together, and if they need to stay the night, this makes into a nice large bed where you can sleep two adults. It's nice and easy to make up the bed. You simply remove the table legs here from the flanges in the floor as well as the flanges in the table. The table itself will sit right here along the rails. You'll then take these two back cushions and put them on top and that will create that large bed. Again, windows here and then you have a light directly up top. Your entertainment center in this one will be right over here. This is where you'll put a TV if you want a TV installed. Your multimedia center is right underneath. Uh, this unit is Bluetooth capable. It controls your speakers in here as well as your speakers outside. But if you want to connect to that with a smartphone or tablet, you can do that. You'll also notice you have storage here underneath. An electrical outlet right over here in case you need to plug anything in. Uh, you know, especially if you're sitting here at the dinette, it's nice and easy to run a cord around there. And then you have additional storage here up top. Right behind me is the bedroom, we'll see that in a second, but first, let's take a look at the bathroom here. So when you walk in, you see the foot flush lever toilet there, you have some good leg room in front. They put it on an angle specifically for that. And then right next to that's the sink top and vanity, a little bit of storage in that guy as well. You see you have an electrical outlet there. Also your tank monitoring panel is in the bathroom, so uh, you know if you're curious as to where to turn on your water pump or your water heater, check your tank levels, this is where you'll do it. Do note that the water heater in here does run off both gas and electric. It's a DSI water heater, so you don't have to go out there and constantly light a pilot, which is nice too. You also see the hand towel ring right here on the wall, and then you have a mirrored medicine cabinet up in the corner. Over to the side is a nice large shower. You can see you have good shelving in this unit. You have a hand wand to make it nice and easy to wash up. And then up top, you have a vent to help moisture quickly escape. As we step out of the bathroom, we can move into the kitchen. Starting right over here, Dometic fridge freezer combo. Open that unit up, you can see it's nice and big, plenty of space in there. You do have a cutout right here for some taller items. If you have like a half gallon of milk or orange juice, something like that, this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Storage up top, you'll see both above the refrigerator as well as above the microwave here. Nice little cubby holes there. Of 
course your microwave, uh, the hood with a light and fan, and then underneath that is your three burner cooktop, the front one being high output. You will see along the back right here, they have a spot for knives as well. Nice little knife holder there, so you can just uh, throw those guys right in there. And then if you do want to be able to do some baking while you're camping, this one is equipped with an oven. Double bowl stainless steel sink here. Nice large bowls, makes it easy to wash and rinse dishes. High rise faucet as well. Cubby hole underneath. And then you have a nice storage area right over there. Personally, I'd probably put a small trash can in here, but whatever you want to put in there, you can certainly do that. Three large full extension ball bearing drawers. Super important in any kitchen. You have to have a spot to put all your silverware as well as some of your larger utensils like uh, you know, your spatulas, serving spoons, things like that. The bedroom of the RL250 does have a second door right here. This is really nice if you have guests that are staying the night, maybe you go to bed after them, or possibly you wake up before them. This allows you to enter and exit the camper without having to interrupt your guests. You'll also notice you have an actual slider door on here rather than a curtain. This again helps give you some of that extra privacy that a lot of times is missing in several RVs. You'll see the queen size bed right here. When I lift this up, you'll notice that there is good storage underneath so that way you can easily store items there. Both sides of the bed, you have the nightstand here, which allows you to you know, put your cell phones or if you sleep with a glass of water or maybe a CPAP machine, you have plenty of room in which you can put that on either side. You'll also see you have electrical outlets on both sides as well. Mirrored wardrobes on both sides, so you have a spot to hang your clothes, as well as storage going across the head of the bed here, so you have a place to put some of your folded clothes and as you'd expect, you have an LED reading light right underneath. If you'd like to watch TV before bed, you will see you also have hookups right up here for that. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Pioneer RL250. Starting right up front, this unit does come with a power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle, just flip of a switch here. And you'll also see there is a light in case you need some extra visibility at night. Right behind that are your two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. Simple and easy to get to, just undo the two thumb screws, lift up the door and you are down and in. And then behind that you have rails here for your battery. Notice that it is wide enough that if you want two batteries there you can easily uh, fit both of them on there. And then coming up the front you have black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. So we come around to the side here, notice it does have a covered hinge, that way you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your pass-through door. And when we open this up, we can take a look inside. You'll notice a couple things. One, it's a very clean pass-through. You don't have anything that's exposed here, you don't have any wires, any plumbing, any framing, everything is nice and covered and clean. You'll also notice on this side here, you have power stabilizer jacks. That is where your controls are located. The one will operate the two front ones, the other control will operate the two rear ones. And it is worth mentioning that the door on both sides is the same size. A lot of times manufacturers will put a smaller door on the opposite side. That is not the case here. So you can easily get some of those larger items like your chairs and your grills and everything else in and out of both sides of the pass-through. Large power awning here, just touch a button to have that roll out, same thing to have it go right back in. And then there is an LED light strip on there as well, so that way if you want light at night, you can have it at the flip of a switch. You don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights unless you really want to. As I previously mentioned, two entrances and exits into this coach. This will be your secondary entrance into the bedroom. The main one is right back there, we'll get to that guy in just a moment. You'll also see you have two outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center unit I had showed you inside. And as I mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here and be able to operate that from your phone, you can easily do that. You do have some hookups right here. Uh, if you want to go somewhere, you know, where you uh, don't have water hookup, you need to be able to fill your fresh water tank. This is where you'll do it right here. Nice gravity fill, super easy to use. And then underneath that, you have a cable as well as an electrical outlet. So if you want an outside TV, this is where you can hook it up at. Set it up here, you'll notice you're still underneath the awning. That way you're getting some shade and not all the glare from the sun. 
Main entrance right here, as I mentioned, uh, you'll notice a couple things. One, you have three steps. This third step makes it a lot easier to be able to climb into the RV. That way, if you have bad knees, you know, you don't have to jump in and out of it. You'll also see you have the foldable grab handle here as well, which again, helps aid in uh, having control when you are getting in or out. If we take a look right underneath, something you'll notice right here. Uh, this, of course, is your power stabilizer jack, but right next to that is your propane quick connect. If you like to cook outside, you want to hook up a grill, it's nice and easy. Set up your grill here, pop it into that quick connect, and now you can use the two 20-pound bottles up front instead of having to bring the small little green ones with you. Couple things we take a look at the back here as well. One is the big, beautiful rear picture window that I had mentioned when we were inside. You can see how nice and large that is. Up above that, you will notice this one also has backup camera prep. If you do want a backup camera, having the prep there makes it a lot easier to have it installed. It's basically a plug and play. What that means for you is it's a lot less expensive to have that unit installed. So if you want a backup camera, having it prepped is a uh, really nice thing to have. Right back here, this is your drop down tray. This is also simple to use. All you have to do is pull these pins out of both sides here, these little cotter pins. Then you'll pull the larger pins out. That will allow this to fold down. Once this is down, you can load this up with bikes. If you want to put totes back here, wood, whatever it may be, you can certainly put it on there. Spare tire is mounted here too. Hopefully you never have to use that, but in the event that you do, you know it's nice and easy to access. Now you do have some hookups that are behind this. If you take a look, uh, you'll see you have an outside shower there with hot and cold access, your black tank flush, your city water inlet, and your electric is all right there. So do bear in mind that to access that, you will have to drop this down. But again, it is really simple to drop down and lift back up. Cable inlet is right over here for you. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Pioneer RL250. If you're interested and you'd like price and availability, just click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.